Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warmups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. Smokey Robinson. People have often wondered how he got the name Smokey. My Uncle Claude was my favorite uncle. He was also my godfather. He and I were really, really close. He used to take me to see cowboy movies all the time when I was a little boy because I loved cowboy movies. He got a cowboy name for me, which was Smokey Joe. So from the time I was three years old, if people asked me what my name was, I didn't tell them my name was William. I told them my name was Smokey Joe. That's what everyone called me until I was about 12, and then I dropped the Joe part. Smokey went to school at Northern High in Detroit, where he was average academically and a keen athlete. But his main interest was music. In August 1957, Robinson and the Miracles met songwriter Barry Gordy after a failed audition for Brunswick Records. Barry, who went on to start Motown Records, was a great songwriter who had written a few hits for Jackie Wilson so he knew what he was talking about when it came to writing songs. Now, at the time during the audition, Robinson had brought along with him a Big Ten notebook. You know those Big Ten notebooks with the white paper with the blue lines? And this notebook contained about 100 songs he wrote while he was in high school. Now, Barry Gordy was really impressed with Robinson's vocals, but he was more impressed with Robinson's ambitious songwriting. He looked through that book and he saw a whole lot of great songs, but they just didn't come together and they didn't form what he thought could be hits without his help. So what Barry did is he formed a record company called Tamla Records, T-A-M-L-A Records, which was later reincorporated as Motown. And the Miracles became one of the first acts he signed to his label. The group recorded their first single, Shop Around, which became Motown's first million-selling hit record. And we'll be back after this message. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Well, this is your chance to find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at rodneysalsbury.com and sign up today. Between 1960 and 1970, Robison would produce 26 top 40 hits with The Miracles as lead singer, chief songwriter, and producer, including several top 10 hits such as You've Really Got a Hold on Me and Mickey's Monkey, one of my favorites, I Second That Emotion, Baby Baby Don't Cry, and the group's only number one hit during their Robinson years, The Tears of a Clown. Other notable hits like Ooh Baby Baby, Going to a Go-Go, The Tracks of My Tears, The Tracks of My Tears, and The Love I Saw in You Was Just a Mirage were big successes for the Miracles. Between 1962 and 1966, Robinson was also one of the major songwriters and producers for Motown, pinning many hit singles such as You Beat Me to the Punch and My Guy for Mary Wells. The Way You Do the Things You Do, My Girl, Since I Lost My Baby, and Get Ready for the Temptations. Don't Mess with Bill, The Hunter Gets Captured by the Game, and My Baby Must Be a Magician for the Marvelettes and I'll Be Doggone and Ain't That Peculiar for Marvin Gaye. By 1969, Robison wanted to retire from touring to focus on raising his two children with his wife Claudette and on his duties as Motown's vice president. However, the success of the group's Tears of a Clown made Robison stay with the group until 1972. Robison's last performance with the group was in July 1972 in Washington, D.C. And we'll be back after this message. Hello, everyone. This is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. 
How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com, in the store section. After a year of retirement, Robison announced his comeback with the release of the Smokey album in 1973. As a solo artist in 1981, Robison topped the charts again with another sensual ballad, Being With You, and peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. On March 20th, 2009, the Miracles were finally honored as a group with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Smokey was present with original Miracles Bobby Rogers, Pete Moore, Bobby's cousin, Claudette Rogers, and Gloria White, excepting for her husband, the late Ronnie White, whose daughter Pamela and granddaughter Maya were there representing him as well. Smokey's replacement 1970s Miracles lead singer Billy Griffin was also honored. In 2009, Smokey Robinson received an honorary doctorate degree along with Linda Ronstadt and gave a commencement speech at Berklee College of Music's commencement ceremony. In 2015, he was given a BET Lifetime Achievement Award. In 2016, Smokey received the Library of Congress Gershwin Prize for Popular Song. On August 21, 2016, Smokey Robinson was inducted into the Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame in his hometown of Detroit, Michigan. It really means a lot to me to talk to you about Smokey Robinson, especially when I look at him today and Barry Gordy, and I look at how they just stand the test of time. They take great care of themselves. They're very healthy. They're fighting Father Time. Robinson was awarded the 2016 Library of Congress Gershwin Prize for his lifetime contributions to popular music. And we are proud to feature this outstanding talent on this episode of Success Talks, Smokey Robinson. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. Rodney Salisbury, better than before. Better than before. The uplifting new album featuring a collection of motivational music. Rodney Salisbury, better than before. Available now at RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change my way.